hi guys welcome back to my channel how is everyone doing i know i know i know Ulania, what happened to all your videos <sighs> i've been a little mia but i'm finally off from work um i've been up for a few days already so now that i'm officially off and i only have like two weeks left before my due date um i'm going to try to create as much content as i possibly can yesterday i marked 38 weeks <sighs> and i definitely feel 38 weeks because i am so exhausted i am anxious i have so many emotions that i cannot even explain like i feel like a roller coaster of emotions i feel, I feel excited i feel anxious and i i'm not used to feeling like this you know i'm the type of person that controls my emotions pretty well um let me put it right here but yeah i just want to come and talk to you and kind of like give you an update how i've been feeling my 38 week update um and just in general you know just talk to you because i feel that pregnancy is not easy like for real this last few weeks has been crazy well i feel that has been crazy to me uh my friend just gave birth three months ago and you know we kind of like talk a lot and she tells me all the time like it's normal i just feel overwhelmed excited and happy see like i'm already feeling kind of weird um the last time i went to the doctor which was four days ago i was two centimeters dilated the doctor said that by this week we can have a birth plan and kind of see where I am at. Um, I've been getting a lot of Braxton Hicks, but I felt that I got them the most when I was around 33, 34 weeks. Now I'm not feeling that much contractions. It's more like cramping and discomfort, like a lot of discomfort. The baby is 6.5 um, ounces. Um, that was four days ago. I'm pretty sure that by the time I go back, she's probably going to be like seven pounds, which is okay. I am planning on giving a natural birth. Got willing. Um, I don't know if I'm going for an epidural. I don't know how, like, I don't know. I can't tell you this is my plan and then boom, another plan comes. So I'm open for everything as long as the baby's healthy and I am healthy and we are all good. I am fine with that. I've been home, I've been nesting, I've been cleaning, I've been preparing for the baby arrival and I'm just like, I feel like being home has made me feel more anxious because I have a lot of time to think about things. Again, I know this is normal, but at the same time I feel like there's something that we need to talk about because it's not talked about a lot. We see all these cute pictures of the belly bump and all this stuff, but it's a lot guys. Like. Your body changes so much. Like, see, I'm emotional right now. <laughs> but I swear I'm not sad. It's just, it's crazy. <sighs> that helps. Water always helps, okay? Um, but just, I just have so much respect for moms, especially my mom, you know, because it's a lot, it's a lot of work. And I know things are gonna get worse and more difficult and I'm up for the challenge. I'm really like, I just wanna have her on my arms already. And I just wanna like see her and carry her and I'm just anxious, I guess, you know? Um, but <sighs> how do I go from one topic to another? I don't know. I That always happens to me. I'm just looking forward for having her on my arms. Like, I swear, I'm just like, can you be here already? So, video, you know, I wanted to come down and talk to you first and like let you know how I feel, um, how a lot of people might feel this way and they don't really express or talk about it. And to be honest, I'm not the type of person that talks about their emotions often. Like, it's really hard for me to talk about my emotions. So I've been journaling a lot. So I've been writing everything down of how I feel. Because I know this is just temporary and I know that I'm just on my feelings. I'm looking at a lot of videos of how to induce a labor naturally. So that's the plan for today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all of the ones that I have in mind. Because again, I don't want to stress the baby out either. But let me show you my belly. This is my belly right now. This is my belly right now. Um, 
I have gained, I was 150 when I first started the pregnancy, so now I'm 178. Uh, 178 180 so I would say like 30 pounds I have gained like 30 pounds and I don't feel heavy to be completely honest I don't feel like I'm 30 pounds extra but one of my legs is getting really like crampy and I could barely walk on it um, I've been stretching a lot but it's not helping I feel like it's more of the nerve and the extra weight on just one side because she likes to be on one specific side I don't know. I wanted to come in here and talk to you because it makes me feel a lot better. And I know a lot of people would be able to relate to this video and know that it's not easy to be pregnant, okay? <sighs> if there's so many body changes. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I spoke about stretch marks. Um, I literally bathe myself on oils and everything and I still got some stretch marks not that many but I still got stretch marks um, you know and again I am not complaining because it's part of the process it's part of becoming a mom and it's okay like I know I created a whole human being inside of me and just the fact that I know that she's okay and that she's gaining weight and that she's healthy it gives me so much comfort even though I have stretch more now I am not complaining um, I was just more like wow I put all these oils and it still happened but it's okay I know some people have it worse than me and it could be a lot worse so I'm not complaining I am very very thankful that I was able to carry her full term uh, because I am 38 weeks so I am just very grateful and I'm not complaining I'm just letting you know you know like hey I apply oils and lotions and everything but I still got stretch marks because I want to be 100% honest with you okay so now let's go make some tea shall we